Who gave thee, O beauty, the keys to this breast? To credulous lover of blessed and unblessed? Say, when in lapsed ages thee knew I of old? Or what was that service for which I was sold? When first my eyes saw thee, I found me my thrall, By magical drawings, sweet tyrant of all. I drank of thy fountain, false waters of thirst, Thou intimate stranger, thou latest and first. Thy dangerous glances make women of men, Newborn we are melting into nature again. Lavish, lavish promiser, Nigh persuading gods to err, Guest of million painted forms, Which in turn thy glory warms. The frailest leaf, the mossy bark, The acorn's cup, the raindropped ark, The swinging spider's silver line, The ruby of the drop of wine, The shining pebble of the pond, Thou inscribest with a bond In thy momentary play, Would bankrupt nature to repay. Ha! What avails it to hide or shun? Whom the infinite one has granted his throne? The heaven high over is the deep's lover. The sun and the sea, informed by thee, Before me run and draw me on. Yet fly me still, as fate refuses, To me the hard fate for me chooses. Is it that my opulent soul was mingled in the generous whole? Sea valleys and the deep of skies furnish several supplies and the sands whereof I'm made draw me to them self-betrayed? I turn the proud portfolio which holds the grand designs of Salvatore, of Gersino and Pyrenees' lines. I hear the lofty paeans of the masters of the shell who heard the starry music and recount the numbers well. Olympian bards who sung divine ideas below which always find us young and always keep us so. Oft in streets or humblest places, I detect far wandering graces, which, from Eden wild astray, in lowly homes, have lost their way. Thee gliding through the sea of form, like the lightning through the storm, somewhat not to be possessed, somewhat not to be caressed, no feet so fleet could ever find, no perfect form could ever bind. Thou eternal fugitive, hovering over all that live, quick and skilful to inspire, sweet, extravagant desire, starry space and lily bell, filling with thy roseate smell, wilt not give the lips to taste of the nectar which thou haste. All that's good and great with thee works in close conspiracy. Thou hast bribed the dark and lonely to repulse thy features only. And the cold and purple morning Itself with thoughts of thee adorning. The leafy dell, the city mart, Equal trophies of thine art, Air and the flowing azure air Thou hast touched for my despair. And, if I languish into dreams, Again I meet thee yard and beams. Queen of things, I dare not die In beings deep past ear and eye, Lest there I find the same deceiver, And be the sport of fate forever. Dread power, but dear, if God thou be, unmake me quite, or give thyself to me. Ode to Beauty Written by Ralph Waldo Emerson Narrated by Jordan Harling